What's up, Clement? How's it going? What's up, Ishan? How's it going? What's up, everybody? How's it going? In this video, we're doing a 250,000 subscriber special Q&A. That's right, we recently hit 250,000 subscribers on this channel. I want to thank each and every one of you who watches my videos, comments on them, smashes the like button on them, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribes to the channel. Thank you so, so much. This channel has been just tons of fun for me. It's also been a very useful part of my business, Algo Expert, and hopefully it's provided some combination of education and entertainment to you, the viewer. But so with that, Thank you so much again, and let's jump into this Q&A. Hypothetically speaking, in the case that your current business or businesses goes downhill, would you rather go back to Google or Facebook or find another company or career altogether? So that's a good question. If Algo Expert, I only have one business right now, if Algo Expert were to just crash and burn tomorrow overnight, I would do one of three things. I would either try founding my own company, that's probably what I would do, another company, or I would maybe try to go back to Google or Facebook, although I would probably want to do a different kind of role, probably not software engineering if I went back, probably some sort of product management role, um, you know, at a product like YouTube maybe, that would be really interesting at Google, or I would join a smaller company, a non-fan company in the crypto space, because that's something that I've just been really interested in for the last few years. Algo Expert is a very well-performing business, but at the end of the day, there's only so much that you can do for people to prep for their coding interviews. The business idea can only grow so much. You can't become a huge tech company like Google or Facebook probably. Uh, so what do you think? Would you start another business or change the Algo Expert mission statement to grow it, you know, extend the functionality? So that's a really good question, Ved. This is actually something that we've been thinking a lot about, you know, this past year, this past half of year, this past quarter. And I'll answer it in two ways. First of all, I will say that, believe it or not, you might be surprised, but our space, the coding interview prep space, the technical interview prep space, first of all, it takes a lot of work to just run our business, despite the, the space being kind of niche and despite the business seeming small from the outside. It takes a lot of work. There's tons of stuff to add all the time. And believe it, believe it or not, it's not as small of a space or as niche of a space as you might think it is. So there still is a lot of room for growth and a lot of room for expansion. I don't want to say too much here, but we've got a lot of exciting things coming in 2021. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, to the, the second part of your question, yes, eventually I will move on from Algo Expert in some form or another. And at that point, I think, like I kind of said in the previous question, that I will want to launch another business. Okay, Clement, what is your daily routine? How do you manage everything? How do you manage your time? So I did a day in the life of video back in May. If you haven't seen it, I'll probably link it in the description. And I'm probably going to do another one soon. But the short answer to this question is really these days, Apart from work, I spend the grand majority of my time just working, whether it's on Algo Expert, on YouTube, social media that's related to Algo Expert and YouTube. Apart from that, I think that I only spend my the rest of my time on, I would say, three different types of activities. One, number one, going to the gym. I go to the gym most days, so that's one. Number two, spending time with my girlfriend, talking to her, and you know that's one activity. And then uh, number three, consuming content, whether that's YouTube, for the most part it's YouTube. Uh, I've been consuming a lot of Twitter content recently, just articles online, that type of stuff. Those are really my three main like activities apart from work. I really don't do like anything else. Of course, you know, the occasional talking to like family or, or other things, you know, but overall those are my three main non-work activities and the grand majority of my time is spent working because I just genuinely love it right now and that's what I want to do. What advice would you give to young people to start their own tech company? Okay, so keep in mind that this is a very large question. Like there's a lot of stuff that I could answer here, but I'll try to give you a short and sweet answer. Number one, learn how to code if you don't already know how to code. I think that it's an invaluable skill that will really go a long way and help you to found a company. And number two, especially a tech company, and number two, when you're trying to come up with an idea for a company, assuming you don't have one, or if you do have one, 
do ask yourself what I'm about to say. Ask yourself, does this idea actually solve a tangible problem? And tangible, I mean, you know, an actual problem. And number two, will people actually pay? Will they be willing to pay money or perhaps pay with their time? You know, but at the end of the day, it always revolves around money. But will they pay for the solution that you are presumably providing for that problem? If you can clearly answer yes to these two questions and you know how to code, well, you are likely ready to launch your company, to try to launch it, to build an MVP, and to see where it goes. The one little caveat is that sometimes the problem isn't super obvious. For example, does TikTok solve a real problem? Mm, maybe. It's definitely not you know, the classic example of a problem like coding interview prep sucks. That's the problem that algo expert solves or technical interview prep sucks. TikTok, it's like, what is it solving exactly? Unsure, but I'm sure that you can formulate it into some sort of problem or some sort of solution to a problem. Anyway, I think you get the idea. How did you deal with imposter syndrome when you started working at Google or was it just not the case for you? So I actually made a video about this about a year ago. I would highly recommend that you check it out. It's basically how to deal with imposter syndrome or rather how to not have imposter syndrome. And the short answer to your question is I really didn't have imposter syndrome. I never felt it at Google. And just go watch the video I made. It'll tell you why I didn't feel it and how you can avoid feeling imposter syndrome. We want Clement tries to attempt a Div2 contest on code forces. So I'm not exactly sure what a Div2 contest is. I've heard the term thrown around a few times, so I'm sure that it's a pretty difficult type of contest. I can't make any promises. I don't know if I have enough time right now to sit down and do that and actually record it, but maybe I will in the future. How much do you earn from your YouTube channel? So this past year, meaning the past 365 days up until today, I think I made about $62,000. And in the lifetime of the channel, I think I've made about seventy-seven or $78,000. When will you get engaged with Algo Girl? So the people who replied to your question beat me to it, but I'll get engaged with Algo Girl when she can pass a Google coding interview. How much do you earn from your company? So I think that this year I'm going to be making about a million dollars, maybe a little over a million dollars. I'll have more visibility into this at the end of the year, so in about a month. We are reinvesting a lot into the business, seven plus figures into the business. Uh, like I said at, the, at one of the earlier questions, we've got a lot of exciting things coming in 2021. I wish I could tell you right now. I don't want to divulge them immediately, but stay tuned. Tons of super exciting stuff coming to Algo Expert. How do you see Algo Expert as a company? company in five years. I see us pretty simply as the best technical interview prep platform for software engineers. Bar none, no questions asked, plain and simple, drop the mic, the best software engineering interview prep platform or technical interview prep platform on the market. Oh wait, we already are that. What programming languages have you touched or used? So JavaScript, TypeScript, Python are the main ones that I've used. Java, a little bit of Java, uh, Kotlin, um, a, a tiny bit of Go. I did Go in a video and also my co-founder writes in Go on the Algo Expert backend. Um, I've reviewed a little bit of like C++ and Swift and stuff like that, but I've never really written them. All the languages on Algo Expert, I've reviewed them, but I've never written them. If you knew you had to become a software engineer before starting college, would you go through the traditional process of obtaining a degree or would you enroll yourself in a boot camp or directly apply to companies or something else? So I think I said this somewhere else, either on YouTube or on LinkedIn, I don't remember, but I would enroll in a boot camp very early on, like freshman year or maybe the summer before freshman year in college, I would keep learning coding online on my own, like self-teach myself. And if I still went to college, I would take classes heavily into finance, investing, uh, business related stuff, only that kind of stuff. Uh, I would not take theoretical classes in you know, the science departments or things like that, because I just don't think that they have much practical use for uh, my current career goals. Hey Clem, quick one. How did you acquire your first Algo Expert customer? So the very first Algo Expert customer was in September 2017. I was teaching at Full Stack Academy, the coding boot camp that I graduated from. I was doing my first class there ever, an algorithms class on a Saturday. And there was one of the existing students or teaching assistants from the previous cohort 
at Full Stack Academy, who was kind of like my assistant, I think, you know, helping me teach the class or something. And he was going through his own interviews and, you know, I pitched him Algo Expert. He knew that we had just launched it in like alpha back then. And he was our first paying customer. What are your views on the Apple M1 chips, their M1 lineup and the future products with Apple Silicon? So I don't know much about this. I will say that I'm waiting to get my Apple M1, you know, computer MacBook Pro in the mail. I ordered it like three weeks ago. It's supposed to come soon. So I'll be able to, to give you a better response then. But the one thing I'll say is I would not like to be Intel right now. What part of programming do you recommend for beginner intermediate programmers to focus on? I would probably recommend beginner programmers to start with web development, full stack web development. I think it's just a great way to get introduced to computer science and to software engineering. You get a lot of you know, direct feedback. You see what you build. It's very rewarding. You learn a lot. It's not super difficult. So that's what I would recommend. And then you asked, I'm personally struggling with getting a girlfriend and I do not know how that's relevant, but at least you know that I'm lonely. Well, listen, yeah, your name, your username is yeah. Just tell you know, a girl that you're interested in that you're an Algo Expert customer and I'm pretty sure that you know, you'll have a girlfriend. I use AlgoExpert.io to prepare for my coding interviews. The number is five five. Have you ever thought of doing a math series? I don't think I've ever thought of doing one. I'm not gonna say that I would never do one because I don't like to say never. You never know what's gonna happen. I guess I just said never, but only in that context. But uh, the closest thing to a math video that I've done is the video on the logarithm that we have on Algo Expert as part of our data structures crash course. And it's actually free. So if you wanna go check it out, just go to data structures crash course and you'll, you'll find it. Do you drink or snack when you code? Wait, you're saying that some people don't drink or snack when they code? What is this blasphemy? When are those sick card trick intros coming back? Ugh, Nikhil, I need to get back into them. Believe it or not, they take like a decent amount of time, especially if I try to make them different in every video. Maybe I'll just start repeating some tricks because I've got a lot of new viewers, but I promise I will try to bring them back soon. What would you say to someone who's thinking about creating a YouTube channel related to tech? You. So two things, number one, Try to find a niche in tech, in the software engineering space, that you think you can bring a unique spin to. For example, when I started my YouTube channel, the niche that I penetrated, that basically no one else on the platform was doing, was talking about Google and Facebook and big tech companies. And you know, there were a couple people talking about those types of things, but I gave very like in-depth, transparent views into those companies, kind of educational content about those companies. And I think that's what differentiated me a lot from basically every other software engineering tech YouTuber. So that's one thing, try to differentiate yourself with a niche. And then number two, do not get discouraged and make sure to persevere, assuming that you really want to do this, when you don't see immediate growth, especially at the very beginning, you will likely not grow super fast. Like it just takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort. Put in that effort, you will eventually reap the rewards from it. You're just gonna have to do it and you have to persevere. It can be kind of a mental game there, but you know, it's part of the game, you gotta do it. Give a time when you went above and beyond the requirements for a project. Is this a behavioral interview question? It really sounds like one. I'm pretty sure that that's what you were going for, but um, I'll just give you a super short answer because otherwise, you know, I don't have the time in this video, but I'll go expert. What advice would you give to a teen web developer like me who wants to work at Google? So I know that this is gonna sound like I'm just, you know, promoting my own brand or whatever, but genuinely, Watch a lot of my past videos. I've made tons of videos about how to get into Google, you know, from recruiting to interviewing to, you know, uh, behavioral interviews, all sorts of things. Watch all of those videos. Obviously, you know, get Algo Expert, prepare for your technical interviews, learn to code if you haven't already learned to code, but you said you're a web developer, just keep honing in on those skills, apply to Google, get connections at Google, and you will eventually make it. Like there's no reason that you would not make it, especially if you're 15 years old or you're a teen, maybe not 15, but you're a teen and you are dedicated or determined to get into Google. There's nothing stopping you. You can do it. Jakaria Sami, I will hold you accountable. You can do it. So Harris asked the same question as the person right before. I'm giving you the same answer and I believe in you, Harris. I know I see you on all my videos, Harris. You will get into Google, okay? I'm keeping you accountable. You will get into Google. If you're determined to get into it, you will get into Google. But your second question, is there any chance of my going back into gaming? 
You're not talking about grinding every day, but a few games here and there. So I don't know. I've been thinking a lot lately about buying myself a gaming laptop, a new gaming laptop, because I have a gaming laptop, but it's pretty old, or just a gaming computer. Uh, I haven't gamed in so long right now, but I'm kind of like super, you know, uh, I miss it so much. Like I would love to go back to World of Warcraft, the newest expansion right now. Um, part of me just doesn't really want to get sucked into that right now when I'm focusing so hard on Algo Expert, but there will be a time in the near to medium term future when I will get back into gaming and likely just like binge for a month or two or three or six or 12. Have you been in Romania, your father's country? I've not been in Romania. The closest that I've ever been to Romania, I think as far as like country, you know, proximity to Romania is Hungary. Um, a couple years ago when I was at uh, Google, I went to Budapest on a work trip. While working at Google, did you know about the existence of Google Stadia? I did because I think that Google Stadia was launched while I was at Google. When it was launched, I had never heard of it before. So I, I think I remember you know, hearing about it with the launch, I think. Yeah, and then there were a bunch of internal things where you could be like a test user of Google Stadia, and I never did that, but I had a coworker who did. So it was kind of cool that you had access to that as a Google employee. What language or backend frameworks do you use for the Algo Expert backend? Mostly going. Last but not least, this question is one that I've received time and time again on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Twitter, in person, from all sorts of different people. And it's been asked in different ways, but it usually comes down to the, what advice do I have for you? And my answer, is simple, buy Bitcoin. This is absolutely not financial or investing advice. That's gonna be it for this Q&A and video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If I didn't get to your question, I'm sorry. I'll be doing more Q&As in the future. Definitely ask it again then. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content, Instagram if you like pictures. I forgot to say to use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform on Algo Expert if you're preparing for your coding interviews or systems design interviews. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video.